one of our dancers here on the dance team. She's here to help me demonstrate how to make a ballet bun. We're going to put the ballet bun at the crown of her head. So you'll start by brushing out your dancer's hair, pulling the hair way back, and then gather the hair from the ear into your hand. Pull the, continue brushing the hair back. Gather all the hair from underneath into your hand. Continue brushing the hair back into your hand. And then with both hands, we're going to take the hair, pull it all the way up to the crown of the head. Use your brush to pull the hair back smooth. Gather the hair in your hands. And we'll secure the hair with an elastic. Good. Can you just turn to the side, Chloe? Show the camera. So we have the crown of the head right here at the top of the head, not on the top, but just on the crown where it meets the corner of the eyes. Now, don't be afraid if you have to. Take your hairspray, take your comb, and pull the hair back to start smoothing it out. It might take a couple of tries. So we're going to smooth with our comb, and then we'll take our hairspray, anything that says extra hold is a great form of hairspray to use for the stage. So we're going to spray her hair to get rid of all the flyaways underneath too. And again, we'll come back with our comb, comb back the flyaways. With my hands keeping the hair in place, I'm going to hold the ponytail with one hand and then take my comb again to smooth out the bumps as well. Good. Again, take your hair elastic, secure the hair at the crown of the head. Don't be afraid if you have to do a couple of tries of smoothing out, combing through, smoothing out, combing through. Take the ponytail out, comb it through again, hairspray again. Don't be afraid. The more tries you get, that's okay. Just be sure that the hair is nicely smooth, no bumps, no flyaways. So we'll just smooth it out once more. Make sure the ponytail is secured nice and tight. And then with the ponytail, we're going to start making the ballet bun. So we're going to start by twisting the hair in a clockwise direction. And then continuing in that clockwise direction, we're going to lift the ponytail down and up. And then continue twisting. Hold the twist in your left hand if you're right-handed or vice versa if you're left-handed. And then we'll start, as we go around, we'll start securing the bun with bobby pins. The more bobby pins, the better. It means that the more pins you put, the more secure the hair will stay once your dancer starts dancing. Keep twisting the ponytail as you go around. So we've secured the last little bit of the bun. You'll notice that there are still a few flyaways, so we're going to take our invisible hairnet. We can find these at any pharmacy here in town. If you can't find one, don't be afraid. Miss Susan has some for sale. Come see her in the front at your dancer's next class time. And you'll just go around and over, around and over the bun. Make sure the hairnet matches your dancer's hair. If you have a little bit of extra, just twist it. Tuck it in and then you'll pin it to your, your bun once more. And your last step is to just ask your dancer to shake her head. If the dancer feels like the bun is moving, then it's not tight enough. Put more pins. If your dancer says, no, it's good, then it's nicely secured. Um, the more pins, the better, always. So there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Miss Ainsley and Chloe. If you have any questions, come see Miss Susan, myself, or any, other, any of the other teachers. We'll be happy to help you. Thank you.